Hello YouTube, this is Rob at Higher Power Performance. Um, making this vid, I'm doing a little interruption in testing. I was going to stick with the, my zero cell for testing, but I'm going to Burbank, moving, and I needed something that uh, I could control heat with a little better. Um, and I'm a big fan of the dry cell, so um, myself and uh, HHO to burn. Um, we built these two dry cell, uh, EBN style cells. They're 21 plate, 4N4 configuration. Um, here's one here and another there. Um, I'll be running two cells. Um, just in the process of testing some different materials and whatnot. Um, there's uh, the gaskets here. and some of the plates. I um, also want to show you this flashback arrestor. Got about three bucks into it. It's taken a hundred, uh, about a hundred hits at four liters a minute. Um, just hit it time and time and time and time again the other night. Um, it's really simple. There's some washers in there and they're held in with a collar to the other side. In fact, I can take this apart here. But this is all hardware store stuff. Um, you know, it's very, very simple operation. Um, in the process of making something a little more robust, but 150 hits, and for four bucks, you can't beat it. Um, you see there's a PCV collar in here and it holds these washers. There's four of them stacked to kind of stabilize the bolt. And on the couplings, it uh, glues onto the pipe here and then it's a threaded adapter. So there's a shoulder in here that the, the washers stick into. Um, so it only takes a couple minutes to build and it's really cheap and effective. Um, there's a lot of a lot better ones out there, a lot better looking ones out there, but the, the principle is the same. Um, next I want to show you a cold startup cell. <clears throat> I've got this thing cranking pretty hard, uh, about 65 amps or so. That's my reservoir. 74 degree water. I'll take this bed right out. Look at that thing crank. Isn't that crazy? This thing's like a water hose. She's about 68 amps and dropping. It'll stabilize here in a bit. Well, what we'll do is do a production test. Try and do this one handed here. Might get a little difficult. This is a two liter bottle. Remember, this is 70 degree water, so cell is not warmed up yet. Okay. And go. Let's see how clear the bottle is kind of hard to see but there is almost zero wa steam water vapor in here um, the other cell that I showed you that's beside the Suburban it's got a different gasket material and it steams the living snot out of the water at 65 amps so this is a lot cleaner drier HHO um, it looks like about 30 seconds so um, that's that's the unit and you can see the, the stuff going through here and what's really crazy if this will zoom in 
this is a half inch hose and you can see it streams out of the still so fast it doesn't even touch the hose for about an inch and a half. <laughs> this thing is just crazy. Um, very impressed with it. You know, this is like an EBN cell, so you guys can purchase yourself an EBN and um, just super, super powerful units. Um, I can run this high amperage all the time. I've got a big alternator in the Suburban. And I'm actually going to run two of them. But when this cell warms up, at 70 amps it's like 4.95 liters a minute this thing just cranks um, and there's a lot more to be had in it I'm sure so I'll let you guys ponder on that and uh, get out there and build yourself some cells um, I'm gonna continue with this OBD2 uh, ghost that we have uh, as soon as I finish the move um, I'm getting a lot of calls people are looking up my phone number and uh, asking a lot of questions so um, I'm letting you guys down a little bit by not keeping up but uh, you know family's first um, but I will continue on it uh, by the way these are 316 L uh, plates um, no 304 stuff we went ahead and stepped up it's a high density uh, plastic this cell have actually had problems with it leaking I gotta take it apart and rebuild it. Um, over tighten the gaskets on it. Uh, this cell, uh, not a drop. It's got about four, four or so hours on it. 100% um, sodium hydroxide. Um, but uh, there you go. Uh, sorry, I haven't posted in a while. Um, I'm gonna get some live footage of the. Uh, flashback arrestor there uh, next um, I'm gonna run one on a secondary bubbler and my actual reservoir slash bubbler primary bubbler will have one on it too so I'll have two I'm not gonna use the bronze wool um, they restrict flow way too much they're great for a torch or something like that um, but I don't I don't want to restrict my volume going into my engine and uh, the flashbacks are perfect. I just have yet to have a, a problem. Um, so that's something you all can look into too. Uh, also, we'll go ahead and hook up the torch at the 4 liter a minute mark um, and uh, see what she can do. So, pretty happy with it. Um, EBN did a, a great job designing this thing. And, uh, you know, there'll be a lot more tests. Um, I'm going to switch this to a 5N4 and then combine the two so I'll have um, a 5N8 that I can pull off of um, so uh, should prove to be very interesting thank you for watching and all the subscriptions and comments um, I really enjoy them and hopefully we can get this get this cooked alright have a good one